trending right now in Charlotte, really across the country, social media blowing up with the best fireworks show wherever you watched it. Make sure you use the hashtag wake up CLT so we can see them. If you were at the Knights game, they're thanking everybody for the largest turnout in single game history. About 10,800 people were at the game, stayed for their incredible sky show Charlotte right in uptown. Romere Beard and Park completely packed for hours before the game, during the game, and of course after to watch the show. We had team coverage at the game. Beautiful shots here from uh, during the, the the fireworks show. I love, I think my favorite part about it is you think it's the finale and then they just keep going. We have another angle to show you from one of the sky rises in Charlotte. You can see over uptown this morning or last night, all of the fireworks there and across the country. Everybody is just blowing up with where they were at and what their show looked like. Here's the one that I love. There's the ballpark and then there are the fireworks going off. I think their show lasts about 30 or 45 minutes and across the country. If you want to see what the fireworks were like right here in Macy's fireworks. This is in New York City, the Big Apple that was on NBC last night at eight. Thank you to all of the first responders that were definitely busy last night and yesterday, even as early as 5 a.m. As you saw, if you're watching our show, this is the London Eye beautiful fireworks display. Also, Chicago had a great show right along along the water and one thing that I think is pretty interesting. One of my friends said, have you ever flown on the 4th of July? And I said no, but this is the shot that you would see fireworks going off everywhere. So that's where I might be next wow. July 4th. I know many of us were asleep last night or trying to sleep at least. So there's a little recap of your own show on <laughs> Wake Up Charlotte. I, I was not asleep in my life, but <laughs> yeah. the, the pretty fireworks are a good consolation the next morning for sure. All right, Rachel, thanks. Larry, what's the one thing we need to know in weather? One thing you need to know is we head into the afternoon. We stay in the 80s, and that storm chance steadily increases by around 4 o'clock this afternoon. What's the one thing we need to know about the commute this morning, Ruby? Well, we still have that roadblock at the intersection near the Batesford Library, Newland Road at Holly Street, so definitely watch out as you head out for your morning drive. Ben. Six away now. Time for in other news. Stories to chat about with friends this holiday weekend. Well, you know, schools are always changing, always trying to improve, but the latest trend is getting a lot of buzz. Coffee bars are popping up in high schools across the country. Why, you ask? Well, apparently kids aren't getting enough milk in their diet, so the dairy industry is giving schools grants for these coffee bars. It's also worth mentioning, though, dairy consumption is down 40% over the past 40 years. That may be driving it. I as thought well. this was going to be a push from teachers to keep their kids awake. No, <laughs> it's a push from the dairy lobby. Got milk. In other news, want to lose weight? Well, exercise at the same time every single day. Scientists discovered people are more likely to work out if it becomes a habit. It doesn't matter what time of the day you pick, just pick a time and stick to it, and you actually train your brain to expect it at that time of day. Seems easy enough. Right? In other news, hopping on a cruise all by yourself, evidently becoming a thing. Solo cruising is on the rise. And this one, we want to know, would you travel alone? Head on over to WCNC.com slash vote and let us know. And you know what? Cruise lines are evidently taking notice of this trend, and they're actually creating cabins customized, specifically tailored to solo travelers. According to Travel and Leisure, the best place for a first-time solo traveler is Thailand. It's because it's affordable and full of other solo travelers. I will say that a lot of people are backpacking now, kind yeah, of taking yeah. a few months off. So yeah. maybe that's why more people are fun. up for going alone. Could be fun for, for sure. 71% of you say you absolutely do it. I love our viewers. They're know, right? adventurous. Adventurous. <laughs> Holiday weekend, go for it, right?